Thank you Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. If there's one thing I love after steaks, it's burgers. I've even shared with you the burger that changed my life. I mean, take a look at this. However, if you are like me, you like doing some research. And I actually came across this article right here from BuzzFeed. It says that MasterChef Grant loves putting ice cubes on his burgers and that's genius. I mean, come on, how can I not give this a try? At the same time, I'll be honest, I'm extremely skeptical to see if this is gonna work. But like I always say, never knock something out until you try it. And of course, it just gives me another excuse to make some more amazing burgers. So let's do it. To make an amazing burger, the first thing we need to start off is good meat. And this is a beautiful choice grade ribeye steak. And to give the best chances for this burger to come out great, using a ribeye should definitely help. At the same time, we all know that fat is flavor. And if there's one thing choice grade steaks lack is fat. But since we are making a burger, we can actually control the amount we want. For me, at least, I like my burgers at 80-20, which means 80% lean and 20% fat. That will produce an amazing flavorful burger. If there's one thing I've learned about making a lot of experiments is that you never throw anything away. You can always use trimmings from briskets or whole loins that you buy anytime. So never ever let anything go to waste. Now if you don't have a meat grinder, you can actually do this 100% by hand. However, we all know that tools make lives a lot easier. And if you plan on making a lot of good burgers at home, you should have one. But today I'm going to show you how you can use two large cleavers to get the job done. Now in case you don't have two cleavers, you can always use a large knife. And as you can see, it, this one is a big boy. But at the same time, if you do have two cleavers, use them because it does make the job a lot easier. And that is something I definitely recommend. It is not a big deal, you just gotta put in the work. And it is the original method of making burgers. So if you do want to make a special burger at home, there's no excuse. As you can see, once I was done, this is what I was left with. Perfectly ground beef made at home. And the most important part is that I know where this ground beef comes from. Now there's left to do is to combine everything together and separating four individual burgers. To make things easy, I like to use parchment paper. Now one of the important things you gotta keep in mind whenever you're shaping your burgers is that you do not want it to compress too much. Having little gaps between meat and fat allows everything to render nicely, which ultimately makes your burger taste 10 times better. So remember, you are making a burger, not meatloaf. But once I was done shaping my burgers, this is what I was left with. Four beautiful steak burgers ready for a nice cube. That just sounds weird. But hey, that's our experiment today. The interesting thing is that Chef Gren only uses regular ice cube. But hey, if we are here, let's just go ahead and try other things. So here's what I got. The very first two rows are just plain ice. The following two is actually black beer. And the last ones are all beef stocks. And the thought was, instead of just adding plain water, why don't we just flavor this thing and see how it turns out? I want to be clear that that's not what Master Chef Grant does. He just adds the ice by itself. But hey, if we are trying this madness, let's just go all out and try everything I can think of. Now, if you're wondering what kind of buns I'm going to be using, that would be Guga's buns. If you have not tried Guga's buns, man, you go ahead and make that recipe. They are just awesome. Now, let me give you a brief description on how the ice technique works. The first thing we're going to do is put the burgers on the grill and season them. As the bottom part is being seared, I will insert the ice cube right on top. Once that sear is completely done, then I'll be flipping it to the opposite side. Now, my hope is that the ice will not fall off. But hey, that's how Chef Grant does it and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And the true reason for this technique is that it develops a much juicier burger. I mean, it does make sense, you're actually adding liquid to it. But the real question is, does it work? Well, that is to be determined right now. And if there's one thing that goes well with burger is cheese and for that, I'm gonna be using provolone. But now that you know how this experiment is gonna go down, the next thing to do is to cook it. I know if I make this burger medium rare, it will be extremely juicy. So to really test this method, I'm gonna do the way Grant does it, which is medium. Now if by the time I'm done cooking these beautiful burgers and if they are still juicing at medium temperature, that is a true test. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to make some burgers, so let's do it. Thank you. 
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. You guys already know I really like Raid Shadow Legends, and here are some of my favorite things about the game. Raid is a tough game. It has 10 dungeons, each with a super tough boss that requires specific strategies for you to beat. It's got fully voiced campaign with 12 locations and 3 difficulties for you to test your skills. To fight there, you will get to pick your favorite champions from 13 different factions, like dwarves, high elves, undead, and even humans, each with their skills and strength. You can also join one of the super active 200,000 clans, fighting and competing right now. And as if the game wasn't already basically endless, they are constantly adding new content. In the past few months alone, they have released over 20 new champions. They also already announced the next arena of the game, which I'm really excited about, the Doom Tower. Today, I'm going to take advantage of one of these events they are constantly having and trying to get some epic champions. Is this guy a pig? Wow. The pig can attack four times at once. Not bad. Hey, now, this guy is cool, but I have someone that does better already. He's also going to be food. Another place that Raid just released is the Artifact Forge. You can craft artifacts directly without having to grind and get lucky. The new advanced quest system also gives you some amazing rewards. If you want to join in, go to the video description, click on my special link, and if you are a new player, you're going to get 100,000 silver, one free epic champion, Acolyte. He's really good, especially after you get a few levels deep in the dungeon, he can really help you with some tougher bosses. All of this will be waiting for you here. Thanks once again, Raid Shadow Legends. I hope to see you guys there so we can play together. But now, let's get right back to the video. All right, we have our beautiful burgers here. Are you ready for some burger, Angel? Oh, I'm ready for burgers, man. And I made it just the way you like it. There's no vegetables. There's no vegetables and there's no sauce for a reason. And you guys know why, but he doesn't. Are it's you ready? It's an experiment. It is an experiment. We have four different types of burgers. Are you ready to try this? Yeah, let's go for this one. All man. right, let's go. Let's start, start with that side first. There's let's a- go with that hole in the bottom. <laughs> there's a <laughs> hole in the burger, then you the hell is that? <laughs> it definitely just looks juicy though. It looks juicy, but there's a hole, everybody, as I'm you not, can see. I'm not gonna judge the book by the color. You know That's why there's a hole in there? Why? I put an ice in there, bro. <laughs> no, you didn't, bro. <laughs> I you swear put, to God. You're not lying? I'm not lying. I put an ice in the burger. I'm gonna put you in the freezer. <laughs> See how you like it, huh? Cheers, everybody. Oh, that's a good burger. Mm. That's a nice burger. It's juicy. It's tender. That's very tasty. I say this tastes very nice. I like it a lot. This is good, even though it has a hole on it. <laughs> All right, let's go for the what's, second one first, huh? What's going on with the next one? This one, the hole is a little smaller. And, oh, you have a big hole. <laughs> this one, the hole is a little them. bit smaller because it's on <laughs> mine. <laughs> mine actually has almost no hole, everybody. Okay, you ready for this one? Cheers, everybody. Second one. It's juicy. I definitely like the flavor of the first one more. Okay. It's juicy. Even though it's cooked medium and not medium rare, it's still juicy. Yeah. Bite it right on the middle, Angel. Don't bite it on the side. Oh my God. You feel that flavor? It's beer. <laughs> it is beer. It is beer. How did you know? I can taste it. You can taste it right away. You can taste it. There's some beer in there, everybody. I like it. You? You put beer ice? Yes. On a burger. <laughs> You look like you're gonna slap me, dude. Take it easy. It's not my idea. <laughs> yeah, I like the first one way more. <laughs> All right, are you ready for the third one? Now you know some weird stuff going on. You know what to expect. Am I ready for the third one? Yeah, should be good. Third one, cheers. Hmm, that's like less flavor. Yeah. To me. Like the flavor kind of washed out a little bit. This one had the most flavor, the best flavor too. I agree so with far, you. So far, so far. I agree. This one is my least favorite, everybody. You know what I put on this one? Ice. Be <laughs> yes, beef broth. Beef broth ice. Not very good, everybody. Not very pleasant, let That's me tell you. Surprising. Yeah. Right. On to the last one? On to the last one, my brother. This one is juicy. So this is the control. <laughs> yes. All right, let's try it. Cheers, everybody. This one's really good. Mm -hmm. I like this one. You like the first one? Wow, that's surprising. So you like putting some ice on it? Let me make sure. <laughs> I like this one better. Which one? Wow, you like the ice burger that you were making fun better. And I think you might be right, Angel. Hold on. It's so juicy. I'm, I'm like mad at myself. I don't know. There's something happening. I think whatever that was kind of worked a little bit. It worked. I can't believe it. All right, guys. Fine. <laughs> Put ice in your burger. Put the ice on your Do burger. It. If you're going to cook it like medium well, 
or medium, but I don't know about medium rare. I think it will not be that as good, but the mm. only way to find out is if you give it a try. Do it. Wow. Put ice on your burger. <laughs> I'll tell you right now, that chef is onto something. Whoever he, I forgot his name. Whoever that chef was. Grant. You're onto something. Yeah. And don't knock it till you try it. Don't knock it until you try it. You guys it, are going to be in the comments flaming us. <laughs> oh, you put ice on a burger. <laughs> what? It actually works. But however, let me ask you a question. Would you prefer a nice thick burger like this or the smash burgers that we made? Sorry, bro. There's no comparison. The smash burgers. The smash burger, it is the best burger in the your world. Life. It changed my life too. Yes. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was very surprising to me because I think it's weird. I don't know if I'll do it again, but it actually does work. Yeah? Crazy. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.